And if Walt went like that, that was a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. If Walt so stood did. back and went like this, his brother that had was a five million, and Roy started to shiver. But if Walt went like that, everybody started to perspire, because that was at least 15 million. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I, I see a picture of him or I, anybody wants to talk about him, I get a little sentimental. Start to, I say, uh oh start to tear up, you know, because he was such a great man. I wish, I wish all the young kids here today could have met him. He was wonderful. Frontierland has had many changes over the years. Mine trains have become runaway roller coasters and stagecoach and mule rides are now extinct. But the Golden Horseshoe lives on. In 1974, the saloon singer, the comic, and the Irish tenor appeared together for the 25,000th time. All together now, I, just got off stagecoach from Chicago, Silk and Steamboat to St. Louis. Hope you like the things I had to sell you because I, uh, I, uh, I just finished. In vaudeville, they have a saying, he's a hard act to follow. Wally Bogue was. When he retired from the horseshoe in 1982, the saloon had lost its star. But there's another vaudeville saying, the show must go on. And thanks to Dick Hardwick, it did. <laughs> Just introduce yourself. My name is Dick Hardwick. My father was an old Indian fighter. What was your mother? An old Indian. Working with the audience is probably one of my greatest assets because I try to make each show look like well, I just came up with the stuff on the spot for the people that are there. And uh, I, I do a lot of Indiana jokes because I'm from Indiana, so I write jokes about Indiana. See, I'm from Indiana. Anybody here from Indiana? You from Indiana? What street? <laughs>